weather situation is much worse across the Twenty six deaths are being blamed on this pole. Gentlemen, we have a problem. Given the recent passage of the Anti-Gun Act by Congress at the behest of and endorsed by President Hathaway, the present State of the Union as a whole could not be better. However, gentlemen, here in Florida, we are far from the state of utopia. Our problems are manifold. Since the devastating tsunami of 2010, the islands of the Caribbean, most of southern Florida, lie in complete ruin. Tampa is an island, separated from the mainland. As for St. Pete, <laughs> lying beneath the briny deep, those poor souls sleep with the fishes. The devastation has been so extensive, rehabilitation is hardly possible. Few, if any, survivors have taken up the steps to rebuild their lives. With infrastructure almost non-existent, the population that remains after the mass evacuation remains frustrated, humiliated, bereft of hope. There is glaring lack of police, militia, 
any form of efficient armed forces to quell the ongoing continuing violence in the streets, the disorder, the rioting, the mayhem. Gentlemen, chaos reigns. As a direct result of the almost complete destruction of principal public and private facilities and the ensuing social turmoil, Central Florida has become a hotbed of illegal activities. My fear is the same. With gangs ruling the street, there's not one shred of American democracy remaining. We need to handle the situation. We want any chance of restoring this great nation back to its original glory. Ball be damned. It's unanimous. We agree we need to intervene. Well then, now that we are all in agreement, Mr. Coop, where the fuck are we at with the progress with this young prodigy of ours? My esteemed colleagues, place this task in my hands, and I guarantee you, he will not fail. Prodigal son returns. Where were you all this time? Ah, who cares? You're back, and that's all that matters. Thanks. Hey, do you want my room out yet? Heavens no. You kidding? It's just the way you left it. Why don't you get settled in? I'll fix you something to eat, and we'll all get pissed tonight. Sounds good. Come on, slow ball, let's go to your room. Hey, Come on. I'm back. <laughs> so good to see you. Sweet home. Well, let's get you set up. I'm a teacher now, you know. I teach first through sixth grade. And those always help on cut up the bar. But of course, a lot of people left, so it's not as much as it sounds. It's just one big class. At first, I had a hard time dividing up the curriculum, but 
I think I've gotten the hang of it by now. Sometimes the older kids, they get frustrated with having to deal with kids younger than them, but they stick through it. At least it keeps them off the streets and out of gangs. Ash, I didn't. How's everyone? Honestly, not very good. Not many people stuck around once you left. There's a couple people that remain true to the wolves, but who knows how long that's gonna last for. Mickey took over the gang once you left. He tried to restore the wolves to what they once were, but it was difficult since the gang wars. Sometimes he talks about leaving Orlando. Why do you leave? <laughs> Forget this paradise. I mean, it seemed like much, but this is where home is. Besides, I couldn't leave Ankh. Not after he took us in and how much he gave us. That and there's some good memories here. Some are good. Ash, you did the best you could. You can't change what happened. Sometimes I just feel that. Vincent and Marco control everything now. Damn it, Ash, get over yourself. Look, I'm sorry. Anyways, we shouldn't keep on quitting. He's probably preparing a feast. Vicky, look who's back. about anyone but yourself. Damn it, Ash. You like God to us, man. We would have followed you to the end of the earth and back. And when things didn't go your way, what did you do? You got everybody who loved you. Those of all fuck yourselves. You should have never came back, man. Come on, Sarah. Let's get out of here. I... I can't. See yourself. See around, Ash. Think you don't understand, just... Just let him put down, okay? Shit! Looking for somebody in particular, Mr. Singer? Ethan! What took you so long? Did you have a nice little vacation? Oh yeah, it was a blast, remember? Ash. I'm not upset with your ashes. <laughs> Look, I ain't working for you or them anymore. I thought I meant more to you than that. <laughs> what do you want? Something of a more uh, nostalgic nature. I don't give a rat's ass what's in this envelope or what the hell you're still doing here. Mr. Singer, I represent an organization of very powerful men who are much less compassionate than I am. If I know where you are, then they will always know where you are. Take my word for it. Do not mess with these men. Motherfucker. Didn't catch him? Don't worry. He'll be back. He always does. Oh well. Come on. What? Don't ask questions, just sit down. 
Hey. Hey. What the hell? God. What are you doing? Hey. I told you not to ask questions. Where'd you go? Seriously. This isn't funny. Look, if no one answers me, I'm taking this blindfold off. Surprise! Well, since we missed your last birthday, we thought we'd give you a belated one. Sorry about the cake. It's all confined last night. Thanks, guys. Well, blow out your candles. Wait! You have to close your eyes first, or else your wish won't come true. So, what'd you wish for? I have to go. Go away. Away. Just for a little while. Why? Why do you do this? Serena, just... Don't you care anymore? Don't you care about anyone? About me? I'm sorry, just... <laughs> Serena! Don't worry about her. She'll forgive you. You can start over, you know. The only thing holding you back is yourself. You can forget it all. Wish I could. Those two are exactly the same. Stubborn, hard-headed. to say that over and over until I fell asleep. You remember that? How could I forget? I meant what I said. Honestly. Then why do you always leave me? And now that you're back, you just have to leave again? Why do you always run away, Ash? Why can't you just let me in? Why can't you just let me be with you? Look. People are better off when I'm not around. That's unfair, Ash. You're cruel, you know that? You really are the worst. Where are you all this time? Leaving already? Thought we were having so much fun. Where are we? Aw, is little Ashy upset? 
You're the shrink, you tell me. You're real cruel, you know. So I've been told. Don't tell me you sense me coming. Security cameras. As you can see, we've made a few upgrades around here. The Cheryls have been generous. Well, not all of them. Vincent definitely fell far from that tree in my book. Sarah, you give us a minute. Of course. Come on in, Ed. Thanks. Grab a seat. How the hell you been? To be honest, I've been better. Yeah. yeah. I was a little worried about you, Ash. I wasn't sure you were going to come back this time. Neither was I. So what's wrong? What do you mean? I mean, what's wrong? You never sat on that side of the table because you wanted to. What's eating you? I just got this bad feeling, you know? Something big's about to go down. I even had a little visit from Ethan the other day. Ethan's... Yeah, I know who Ethan is. Of course you do. John, look. I just feel like I need to get out of here before anyone else gets hurt. Again. Shit, I don't know why the hell I came back. I'm thinking... That's my Ellen. When did you find time to get hitched? Fifteen years ago, next month. We met in this little coffee shop in Amora, Portugal. She was a foreign student, you know, studying abroad. She was behind me in line and she bought my drink when I realized my wallet was stolen. I never saw anybody so beautiful, Ash. Smart, stubborn as a mule. A hell of a dancer. So I met her. died 11 years ago. Ovarian cancer. We didn't catch it in time. What'd you do? Me? Hell, I broke down. I couldn't even look at her without tears going down my face. As much as I hate to say it, it shames me. She took care of me. She's the strongest person I ever met, Ash. Look death in the face. Not only laugh at it, but welcome it. It takes real courage. Why are you telling me this? Because you're the strongest person I ever met besides her. You never backed down from a fight before. You shouldn't start now. Thanks for the tip. You always knew your best, John. I just can't do it anymore. As sometimes a man's got to fight to protect what he loves. I didn't, and I lost her. Don't you make the same mistake. Thanks, John. Over the last several years, since the tsunami hit Florida, Shirell Incorporated has been steadily gaining profit through the reconstruction of New Orlando with the support of foreign agencies, especially from our sister company located in Tokyo, Japan. It is my honor to inform you that the new fiscal year has brought forth some very pleasing results. The recent Anti-Gun Act has proven to be a great 
revenue boost to our pol Barnett. Yes, as I was saying, our profit margins and advertising revenue has increased by 13.9%. Now think about that for just a moment. Not only has it brought a new faith back into the politicians, but as can be expected, the public Tonight. is responding. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Just found out one of our old acquaintances is in town. What are you waiting for? Continue. Now! Yes, as I was saying, our profit margins and advertising revenue has increased by 13.9%. Now think about that for a moment. Go to the old hotel Not only has meet up with our friend. You'll recognize him. I know what he wants. The number of Report back to him As you Academy wish. This year has almost doubled since last semester. This may be a good opportunity to roll out our VS. Things are about to get a lot more interesting. From lunch boxes to school uniforms, I like that. to even blackboard erasers. This could be a phenomenal test market. Remember when we were kids? We used to come here all the time. All the kids would just stand around, just waiting for us to pick the next fight. <laughs> Shit, we rolled this place. We were just kids, but still. All we could think about was the next fight. That's probably why we went up the way we did. We turned out fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I'm sick of listening to your sermon. You prance around here claiming to be some leader with your big talk and your false ideals. When you finally got knocked off your throne, what happened? You put your tail between your legs and showed everyone how big of a fucking coward you are. Together we can change all this, you said. I believed your lies, Ash. All of them. So I did. But people change. No, people don't change. They just give up. What the hell is I supposed to do, Mick? Tell me nothing happened? But how could you, right? Who's there? Just an old friend. Wade? In the flesh. But it can't be. You're dead. That's funny. I don't feel dead. Yeah, but but we saw you die. Oh, right. No, my friends, fortunately, my meeting with the Grim Reaper was postponed. What the hell do you want? <laughs> Straight to business, huh? I've come here to offer you two an invitation. To what? <laughs> to a party. To commemorate our reign once again over this city of evil. What do you mean? What do I mean? We're taking over. The three of us. Join me. And we'll crush all that oppose us. It'll be just like old times. Sorry, I'm not interested. <laughs> Come on now. You can't tell me the head fang himself can resist such an offer. I've changed. We both know old habits die hard. I'm not gonna find any more. Just like a man on death row, 
Renounce your sins, wicked one, in hopes that you may be granted passage into heaven. But when the guillotine drops, it won't be your life that flashes before your eyes, but the lives of all those extinguished by your hands. <laughs> You're a born killer, my friend. Why deny it? Embrace the fact that you are stronger than others. That you can kill another person in the blink of an eye. If you admire him so much, you want to just blow him. Excuse me? He knows what he's done. He doesn't need some fucking cheerleader to remind him of everything he's done. So why don't you just leave him alone and go find someone else's ass to kiss? Understand this, simple Mickey. The only reason why your large head is still attached to your body is because you are attached to Ash. Otherwise, you would have certainly paid for this impolite and ugly comment. Then stop yapping, bitch, and do something. <coughs> Mick! What an ignorant brute. Next time, he won't be so lucky. As for you, my friend, I strongly recommend you reconsider my offer, or I won't be able to guarantee your safety. Do not get in my way. Mick. You okay, buddy? Not how I picture my first time with two Asians. Get your ass off, come on. Jeez. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jackass. So you're sure he's still in town, right? That's what I'm saying. I just saw him this afternoon. He said he was leaving. I'm kind of worried about him, though. I think something's up. Why? What do you mean? What happened? Calm down. He's fine for now. He just came to the school today to talk to Hawkins. So... So? You know Ash. He doesn't like to talk to anybody. Doesn't want anybody to worry about him. Except for when something serious was going to happen, he always went to Hawkins. I never know what they talk about, but afterwards, something bad always seemed to happen. But hey, I'm sure it's nothing. He's been gone for a long time, and he's probably just stopping by to say hi. Oh my god, Mickey. What did you do to him? It wasn't him. It was Wade. Wade? You mean Wade Collins? I thought she was dead. Apparently not. Why would Wade want to fight you? You two used to be friends. I don't know. She's changed. It's like... She seems empty. Yeah, but that still doesn't explain why she would do this to Mickey. She was talking some bullshit about taking over the city. And when she asked me and Ash to, to help her out, I told her to go fuck herself. I guess she got a little mad. Yeah, she wouldn't have done anything with this smart guy stepping in. Hey, at least I did something. You just stood there like a little bitch. What the hell do you know? I don't know anything. I used to know a guy named Ash that would put that little bitch in her place. But you got a point. At least I know who I am. All I know how to do is fight. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But at least I stay true to myself. Both of you are screwed up. Why do you both insist on arguing? Friends, or have you forgotten? Not to be biased, but I had to start with Mickey on this one. You have to stand up and fight sometimes. Sure, it's not always the answer, but neither is ignoring the problem. So, you say this weight chick is up to no good, huh? You guys got plans to deal with her? We don't know. Well, she says she wants to take over the city. 
Well, she's not going to do it by herself. Yeah, that's why she asked us to help her out. Still, the three of you versus an entire city? The odds don't seem to be in her favor. She definitely needs more muscle for that task. No matter how many people she can get, she still can't take over with going through Vincent and Marco. If she asked the two of you, what makes you think she won't join one of them? Look, she came here to take over the city, not to become someone's underling. The snake's bite is only as deadly as its poison. The poison is only effective if it blows through the body. Yeah, but how are we supposed to find out who she's working with? You can't exactly go up to Vincent and Marco and ask him. You're not Vincent, but I know we could get to Marco. What do you mean? There's a DJ battle tonight down at the docks. Marco's hosting it. Obviously, he'll be protected, but I know we could get to him. Let's fucking do it. Come on. Count me out. This shit again. What the fuck is your problem, man? Don't worry. I'll take his place. Dad, come on. I mean, you might get hurt. Have you forgotten taught you how to fight? Yeah, but... But how about I take you and Ash? I'll take both of you on, and if I lose, then I'll leave it alone. Come on. Whatever. I gotta change before we hit the club. All right, let's get to it. And you guys hold down the fort. You think they'll be all right? They can take care of themselves. Come back to us, Ash. I sure know how to make a motherfucking entrance. I got some questions for you, Marco. Ask away. I can't guarantee any answers. You know about Wade Collins? Never heard of the motherfucker. She supposedly died in the game wars? 
You're gonna have to do better than that, schoolgirl. That was a long time ago, and a lot of people died that day. This chick Wade is planning on taking over the city. And I don't buy for a second that a guy like you hasn't jumped at the opportunity to increase her power. Times have changed, my friend. I no longer have to worry about small time gangs like yours messing with my motherfucking turf. Say it again. I dare you. You don't think I kept all my guards over here with me, do you? I'm glad we see eye to eye. Listen, Mark. This woman way won't stop until the entire city is under her control. If you say you have nothing to do with her, then I'll take your word for it. But what I want to know is, will you help us put her down when the time comes? Sorry, I can't do that. Why not? Look around you. Money is power. And all these people are spending what little of it they have to escape their pain. And I, am a means for him to escape that pain. With a little profit for myself, of course. So why do I need to worry about some wannabe? Look, Marco, I know how this chick thinks. If you're not with her, then you're against her. And she's gonna come after your gang, too. If that time comes, I'll crush that bitch myself. Don't be so full of yourself, Marco. Just because I choose not to fight, doesn't mean I won't. You're just like someone I know. You must have a lot in common. Yeah, he's an asshole too. <laughs>
show my face there anymore. Somehow word got out that I was making deals. Fixing races. Are you? Hell no, man. That's my blood. I love those guys. <sighs> Fuck it, I can't go back now, right? Just tell us where they are. Maybe I'll put it to a word. <sighs> Fine, man. It's your funeral, though. Head downtown. Let me go right on Church Street. Sit there, wait. Watch a trick that ride fly by, you follow him. He'll take you right there. No race with Mr. Burrito's race. Under here. I brought you something to eat. Wow, thanks. Sorry about your car. Well, which they do is just you know, ask me if I take my car just to get it blown up, but hey, you know, whatever. They said they got a lot of information, though. Hope so. Ash, can I ask you a question? Well, that question comes out of their sandwich. Why'd you even come back? It's like ever since you've gotten back, you just try to distance yourself more from us. I don't understand it. Well, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Me? Whatever else, too, but... I'll see you. Look, Serena, I've been gone a long time. And after everything else that happened, I just... Well, you know, you tell yourself that you're better off dead and you should never come back, and... The only thing I started thinking about is, you know, I used to be all together, and... I was like, home then. Then you tell yourself that you come back and everything will be all right. Naive, huh? Still can be. No. I've changed and everyone else has too. No. You only think you've changed. You're still the same Ash with his head up his own ass. <laughs> Mickey doesn't seem to think so. That's because Mickey's a stubborn prick. <laughs> Always has been. You two are too much alike to get along all the time. Right about that. Ash, do me a favor, okay? Please stop being so hard on yourself. Everyone wants to believe in you, but they can't if you don't first. Now get back to doing what you were doing. I'm gonna go make some dinner. Door, 
Yeah. Uh huh? Right. Good. Yeah. Alright, you need to call me as soon as you hear something. What's up, Unc? Have you seen Serena? Yeah, last time I saw her, she was in the garage a few hours ago. That the last time you saw her? She said she was gonna make some dinner and be right back. Serena hasn't come back. Where'd she go? She said she was going to the store to pick up some ingredients. But Steve said she'd never drop by. You let her go outside by herself? The store is just two blocks away. She always goes alone. Did you find her? This is all I found. I don't know, man. Ash, wait! Fuck! Oh, did you lose something? What the hell are you up to? You should know what I'm doing. Better not involve Serena. Don't you know me better than that? What the? Good morning, sunshine. Sleep well? Where am I? Take a look around. Serena, where is she? She's fine. For now. What do you mean? Well, I want you to reconsider my offer. <sighs> Not happening. Join me, Ash. Besides, I always thought we were good together. I said, I'm not interested. And I guess there's nothing else I can do to persuade you otherwise? No fucking way. Well, I wish it didn't have to come to this. But... You leave me no alternative. Hey! What's going on? Hey! Hey! What's going on? What the hell are you up to? Who, me? Nothing, really. I just, uh, told my men they could have a little fun with your friend. You fucking did! You fucking knew that! I'm sorry, Ash, but you left me no choice. I'll fucking kill you! I don't think you understand. Once my men are finished having their fun with her, <laughs> they'll kill her. <laughs> and then, they'll have you watch as they rape her lifeless corpse. <laughs> and then, after your soul has died, <laughs> the good doctor here will do what he does best. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you, you know that. Don't blame me, Ash. I offered you a way out. This is on your shoulders. Ash! Well, that's my cue. 
You fucking piss, I'll kill you! Fuck! Who am I would have got you? Fuck you! Fucking <laughs> See, I have a night. Gretchen is here. Come on! Don't have us this night. Ian had eat fine. Spass in his gate.
stop up here. What? Stop what? here. Oh, Serena. Hang on tight to that boy, okay? Someone might just come around and snatch him up. Let's go. No, no, you're not listening to me. Ash has been missing for hours. If you see him or hear from him, oh you need to God. let me know immediately. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you? Thank God you're okay. We've begun to imagine the worst. We're end this shit tonight. You saying what I think you're saying? Alright. Serena, get back. Alright. It's right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is all you got? Look at all these pussy motherfuckers. And all these skeezy hoes. You think that fucking band's gonna help you? I'm gonna take that drummer stick, I'm gonna shove it straight up your motherfucking ass, and then we're gonna run and train on your bitch. What the fuck you think about that, dog? And I love what you've done with the place. So what's your next fucking move? One, two, three, four! <laughs> Break up this heartfelt reunion. 
Well, what's our next move? We're going after the bitch. I know exactly where she's going. The docks. Marco. Yeah. Well, let's get our asses over there. All right. Hey, I never got to thank you for what you did. You don't have to. I just, I hate seeing you like that. It just, it scares me. <sighs> Sorry, I just got it. Just do what you have to do, but just promise you will come back this time. I promise. Hey, yo, Ash, we gotta go, man. We back. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> God damn it, Marco! What the fuck? Isaac's class all over the wall. I'm just getting my face kicked in, and I guarantee you those bitches are almost here right now. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. Oh. All my life, I've had a feel for how things are gonna go down. See things before they start. I guess it's something I acquired from people always trying to take what it is I got. And that's why I'm always gonna be on top. Well, no one's perfect. You think you've got what it takes? You think you can take what belongs to me? No. Not just me. Fuck this! You don't want shit! We run this motherfucker. Whoops. y'all bitches are going. You can't kill me. Marco. See you later. Oh, come on. Guess we missed the party, huh? Guess so. Where'd you go? What do you think? I look like a fucking fan club? You just missed her. Just missed her. Go after her. God damn it, Mick, I told you it's my fight! So wait, I said hey. Now where were we? Oh yeah. Next time. Go ahead and try me, bitch. Is this Halloween? <laughs> no. We're hired to take care of problems. And you've become someone's problem. Ah, good times, good times. I don't believe this shit. We're all getting paid to kill you. Little you. You're the little one. Come on, guy. I got this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Come on, guys. You too, buddy. No! Come on. Come on. Come on. I did. <laughs> no, no, we gotta get you to a doctor. No, 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 bullshit, no. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Look, brother, I gotta do this one alone. To me, she wants, not you. Bullshit. No. We've been in this together since the beginning. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Look, man, I started this shit, I gotta end this shit. You of all people should know. I'll be fine because I hate to lose, right? Stubborn son of a bitch. <laughs> just, just make sure Serena's okay, alright? Take care of her. God damn it. Still here. So, wait, is your first time back home? love what you've done with the place. What is it about you, Ash? What's your secret, that power, that fills those you meet with fear and admiration? Myself included. Kind of like the day we met. Yeah, we still haven't finished our fight. Yes, I know. Stay down. This would go a lot quicker. Huh! <laughs> 
without your sword, huh? dead. our warrior will be able to stand up against any possible gang dynasty. Yes, but the chances still remain. While eliminating other dynasties, he could create one of his own. Oh, wait a minute. He did all right this time. But can the master tame the beast again? That's the real question. Well, let's just say he has some creative misfortune in his near future. So, now that it's over, what's next? It's not over just yet. All right. There's just one thing that I don't understand. That is? You had the perfect chance to finish her off. Why didn't you? Well, just because your past comes back to you doesn't mean you have to repeat it. Earlier you said you had a question. What's up? Well, to be quite honest, I want to go back to school. Are you serious? Hey, I thought you knew everything. That's the last thing I expected out of your mouth. Look, I just want to finish what I started a long time ago. That's all. Ash, with your record and past, there's no school that will take you. Kind of figured that. However, I was able to pull some strings. I found a school that will take a chance on you. A school that could use a man with your talents. Where? Tokyo. Japan. Yep. The Tokyo, Japan. Only one I know. Tokyo, huh? 